And uh, we are starting with some breaking news coming in of Marathi actor. That is, Ketki Chitali has been languishing in jail for 20 days now. She was arrested on May 14th after an FR was registered against her for her social media post against NCP chief Sharad Pawar. In her Facebook post, which allegedly referred to Pawar, Chitali had used phrases such as hell is waiting and you hate Brahmins. For that one post of hers, there are a total of 22 FRs that have so far been registered against her. But shockingly, no FR has been registered against the NCP women workers who were seen on camera attacking Ketki outside the Kalamboli police station. Speaking to Times now, Ketki's lawyer has now alleged that all the 22 FRs lodged at different police stations have similar language suggesting that someone is behind all of this. The lawyer also says that they tried registering an FR against the NCP workers who attacked Ketki, but the cops aren't entertaining them. Meanwhile, Ketki's parents have now also been allegedly receiving threat calls. एक post के लिए, एक Facebook forwarded post के लिए, 22 FR, वो भी identical line पे, मतलब कि एक word भी नहीं. एक सिंगल आदमी ने जैसा वर्ड फॉर्मेट बना के दिया हो उसी तरह कॉपी पेस्ट बना के ये एफआईआर किए गए हैं और 22 एफआईआर किए गए हैं एक ही ऑफेंस के लिए अलग-अलग पुलिस स्टेशन में अलग-अलग जुरिडिक्शन में 22 एफआईआर मतलब यहां पे पुलिस ने ना जुरिडिक्शन का इशू पूछा ना कॉज ऑफ एक्शन पूछा ना कहीं पे और कहीं पे सिमिलर लाइन पे एफआईआर हुआ है या नहीं है इसकी जानकारी लेना पुलिस ने उचित नहीं समझा और आगे की बात तो ये है कि पुलिस ने एफआईआर रजिस्टर कर लिया कोर्ट ने जो सेक्शन जो है जो बेलेबल सेक्शंस है उसमें रिमांड ग्रांट कर लिया रिमांड हो गया उसके बाद में उसको जुडिशियल कस्टडी में भेजा गया जुडिशियल कस्टडी में भेजा बेल पुटअप किया बेल भी रिजेक्ट किया गया अभी तो और आगे की बात तो ऐसी है कि केतली केतकी चितड़े को जो आ, उसका जो विनय भंग हुआ था उसको मारा गया था पुलिस कस्टडी में मॉब ने 20-22 लोगों के एनसीपी वर्कर्स के मॉब ने आके उसको वेंडलाइज किया गया मारा गया मोलेस्ट किया गया उसकी कंप्लेन करने के लिए उसने कोर्ट के पास परमिशन मांगा है तो कोर्ट अभी तक परमिशन डिसाइड कर रहा है मतलब कि किसी के ऊपर आप कोई नेता के ऊपर आप टिप्पणी करोगे उस पर सिर्फ एक टिप्पणी करोगे एक फॉरवर्डेड पोस्ट करोगे उसके लिए आपको तुरंत एफ इमीडिएट अरेस्ट सेम डे में Without notice, आपको घर से उठा के लेके जाएगा और 20-22 केसेस बुक किए जाएंगे और उसी टाइम पे आपको मारा जाता है, आपको मोलेस्ट किया जाता है, आपकी स्त्री के सभ्यता पे हाथ डाला जाता है, उसपे अंडे फेंके जाते हैं, उसको गालियाँ जाता है और ये सब होता है पुलिस स्टेशन के कैंपस में और उसका एफआईआर करने के लिए पिछले 15 दिन से कोर्ट टाइम ले रहा है कोर्ट सोच रहा है कि एफआईआर करने की परमिशन दे या ना दे so these are the serious allegations coming in from the lawyer of Ketki but the NCP has now denied all charges of harassment and has now said that Ketki had all the right to approach the court if she feels that she is being harassed we'll play out a reaction coming in first Ketki Chitale is account to law for slanderous expression that she made and publicized to castigate the character of a political leader. Now, if she feels that she is being unduly harassed by some miscreants or that she is being prosecuted uh, in multiple prosecutions, then certainly she has a course to adopt. She can approach the court, point out to the court if she has been excessively harassed. Meanwhile, the BJP has also now slammed what it calls the government's intolerance and alleged persecution by the state. And also questioning as to why is Ketki still languishing in jail for so long? It's been over 20 days now. We'll play out some reactions first. I think that someone has a mistake. You should give her a chance. Because you never say anything in the flow. If she has believed that she has a mistake, she doesn't want to say anything, then she should leave her. She doesn't have to be marked, she doesn't have to be damaged, she doesn't have to be damaged. So, in this case, the society should take a different way. Then, the police, the police, the people, the people, the people. This is one thing. The other thing, 
All right, let me also now go across to Arunil joining us live on this broadcast. And Arunil, this is also erupting as a political fight between the two sides. Ketki was, uh, in fact, arrested over two weeks ago. It's been over 20 days and counting, and she's still inside the jail. We have the NCP stating that uh, and denying all charges of harassment, but the BJP is questioning why she's still in jail and why uh, she has not been uh, granted that bail as well. Well, if you go through the video of the Kalamboli police station, in the video, the NCP women workers can be clearly seen throwing ink at Ketke Chitrae. They can be seen beating up Ketke Chitrae as well as uh, her clothes was also, were also torn at that time by the NCP party workers. Now, what the lawyers of Ketke Chitrae basically are saying is that uh, uh, they want to file an affair against the NCP party workers, but the co cops are not cooperating with them, also questioning the fact that this is one alleged crime that Ketki Chitrae has committed, then why 22 FIRs are necessary? This has been only done to ensure that Ketki Chitrae doesn't come out of jail anytime soon. If one uh, court releases her, uh, the cops from other uh, city of Maharashtra uh, basically arrest her. Uh, FIRs have been registered in Mumbai, Thane, Navi Mumbai, Ahmednagar, Pune, all those places FIRs have been registered just to make it more difficult uh, for uh, Ketki Chitrae. The lawyers also basically saying that the family members of Ketki Chitrae are extremely aghast, they are very scared uh, to come out in the open because they have been receiving threats uh, via uh, social media. Now, yes, uh, one post that Ketki Chitrae put, uh, she has been uh, languishing in jail for around 20 days, but she was beaten up by uh, the women workers as well. Till now, no FIR, no action being taken against uh, the NCP workers. Uh, the, basically, the lawyers right. or the Ket, or Ketki Chitra's side are saying that this is the state of law and order in the state of Maharashtra. It has been brutally misused. That's what they are saying. Absolutely. And Arun, will continue to be with us. We are also joined by a special guest this afternoon. We have Shweta Shalini, who is a BJP spokesperson. We also have Kishore Tiwari, who is a leader for the Shiv Sena. Mr. Kishore Tiwari, coming to you first. It's been over 20 days now and Ketki is still inside the jail. And not just being inside the jail, the family is being threatened. Over 22 cases have been filed and we have the certain NCP women workers who have assaulted her, beaten her up, also throwing ink at her, but no action being taken against them. Rucha, I will first clarify, my government uh, doesn't uh, support any, any uh, violence at any place, one thing. Secondly, uh, the Yogesh uh, Deshpande, the lawyer of the Ketki uh, Chitri, has uh, spoken something. Uh, that uh, why 22 cases for the one offense. So now the 22 um, offenses has been registered. He should move the court of uh, law to get it coupled. Uh, second thing, uh, why there is uh, no bail after 22 days? Now you, we should ask the court also. But uh, Gopal Chetty uh, has taken a stand that uh, uh, a lady... Uh, who has regretted and uh, has said that uh, uh, he has uh, done it uh, uh, because of some mental indecision. Hmm. So he, she should be she should be allowed. So he has uh, uh, she should be allowed to pardon hmm. uh, by the society and by the uh, judiciary. But police has taken their uh, law has taken their act. Um, do action now. The judiciary has to act. Yogesh Deshpande was uh, accusing the judiciary not releasing or not allowing her to file the FIR against the NCP worker. Hmm. Now we will move against uh, this. Uh, who is this Deshpande and how he is uh, responsible? So now the bail has not uh, been granted by the court, right. and uh, he has not been permitted by the court to file a FIR. It is up to the court. They will decide on the merit. But arrogance, if BJP is supporting the arrogance and uh, irresponsible behavior of Ketki Chitle, then it is a matter of concern. So it is not about supporting uh, arrogant behavior. And I would like to bring in Shweta here. Shweta, would you, how would you respond to what Mr. Kishore is saying? Because uh, he speaks about the arrogance of this particular lady in question who is being languishing in jail for over 20 days now. But what about the NCP workers and the behavior they have shown? Uh, let me let me first let me first uh, clarify. Uh, Kishore Tiwari ji uh, stands. Oh, Papa, should I answer your question, Rucha, 
or should I be answering another panelist's question? No, please, no, please uh, continue. Please, first. please answer my question so, first. Uh, please allow him uh, uh, and ask him to please keep quiet. It's my chance to talk. Talk. Uh, they can't suppress all voices. That's exactly what they are trying to do. Uh, like uh, Kishore ji is trying to suppress my voice, uh, every citizen voice is being uh, uh, suppressed. Now, yes, we do not support what Ketki has written. We do not support anybody who writes anything on uh, which is insulting on uh, the internet for any of our leaders, be it ours or theirs. Hmm. But then, what happened to an MP who says that, uh, uh, you know, I will put someone down 20 feet below someone? What happened to that MP? What happened to an MP who says that uh, uh, a certain actress is naughty and uh, 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 the word that he used for naughty is not the word that uh, Kishore Ji used? Are there different rules, Mr. Kishore, when it comes to your own party members or your own alliance members and when it comes to the opposition or somebody from the outside? Because uh, we have seen several senior party leaders of the MVA coming out and also speaking about intolerance, freedom of speech, but that does not seem to apply here. Mr. Kishore, if you would respond to that. Cheta, Cheta, I am responding. Cheta, I am responding. Uh, my government doesn't support uh, irresponsible statement of any leader uh, of any party. In fact, the uh, intolerance and uh, vendetta of the police is also not uh, uh, supported or endorsed by my chief minister. But the culture of political culture of but Maharashtra... this is exactly what you're uh, doing. What do you mean vendetta of the police? This is exactly what you're doing. You're using police for your own personal benefit. You can't do that. Supriya ji just uh, said Shalini, that Shalini. if the, uh, a woman is going to be Shalini, Shalini, let me ask. then I am going to break Shalini. someone's uh, hand. What, what is uh, uh, Ketki Chitle not Shalini. a woman? You are going to be... Mr. Kishore, uh, would you Shalini respond to what uh, Shweta Shalini is saying? Uh, Shweta ji, Women who I follow ask, your particular ideology are only Shweta going to... Shweta, Shweta, Shweta ji, will come back to you. Let him respond first. Shweta ji, why don't you look at your face in the mirror? Uh, what the ED, NCP, NIA uh, are doing? Uh, what every are you doing? Time you, that are doing you, question, you are doing the same thing. You are doing the same thing. Every time you are, ask you all political parties should go for an interruption. When we ask you, all parties should go for an interruption. What I say? If uh, what I say? What I mean? I don't. I don't. I don't support anything. You tell me, did you reduce the VAT on petrol? Did you reduce the VAT on petrol? Why did you not reduce the VAT on petrol? Now that you've got your GST payment, why did you not do it? Is that the topic? We are talking about women dignity. All right, so we'll wait and see what the investigation further reveals. Uh, thanking both our guests for joining us here on this broadcast. And uh, we'll wait and see how soon Ketki also comes out of uh, the jail. She's still languishing over 20 days now, slipping into a short break. We'll be back.